Hey what's up and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you my top 5 Path of Exile tools or programs that are totally free you can download um, that will help you uh, inside the game for Path of Exile, uh, helping you with trading, helping you progressing with your character, help you with leveling. 5 tools I will show you in this video. Let's start with the first one. The first one, it's called PUE Leveling. This is a tool or more, it's not a tool, it's a website. I will show you an example how you best use this tool. So if you go to this website, you will see here some stuff you can set up. Let's close all this. So what is this tool? This tool is about um, leveling, uh, helping you while leveling through the X. Um, it shows you how you can build up your uh, progress in terms of the skill tree the skills when you use the skills when you use uh, when you equip the skills for example so this is this website how does it work so first of all you need a leveling build so for me it's going to be for path of exile 3.24 saboteur ball lightning of static for example you found a um, build on youtube or a guide and they are coming with a link, it's most of the time this PUBBB or a link for Path of Billing. So if you're new to Path of Exile, um, there are builds and people share these on YouTube. And if you open this build, for example, you will see here what equipment he uses and how, what skill he used, for example, right? So we can integrate that into this website. Um, you can see here the um, link. You copy this link, for example. You go here. Build. You can he see here the uh, rejects. And you import the build. Oh, that's this. I haven't used it in a while. And you can see here um, what skills he is using in all the acts, mapping, etc. etc. So this is the leveling guide, for example. So if I click here on root, now you can see here it's close all these, a lot of information through all the acts. Let's start with act one. So if you open this here, let's say, for example, uh, you have on this side, if you have two monitors, you have this on your left monitor. Or if you have two monitors, you can switch um, having here the game. If you kill Hillock, this is the first boss, or the first enemy, the first big enemy um, before you can go into Lionel's Watch. You can see here that what you can do and if you have killed him, for example, you click on it. And you know it's grayed out. Okay, I have done this, for example. Um, you can skip this, for example. I know how to do that. So the first thing is going to be to take Explosive Trap or to buy a Rolling Magma for uh, the currency. This is also very cool. You can see what currency you need to buy that. Okay, I have bought that, all the stuff. You go to the waypoint. So you can see here, for example, um, the tree level 1 to 12 so when you're leveling you see here for the first 12 points you're going uh, to this route um, when you're inside the game you know you have your skill tree and you can see that here with three and if you move on you can see here level 13 to 28 so you move on up here the green one is the next one you need for example right you can do even the first lap you can see that here it's a little bit tiny but uh, you can zoom in and zoom out for example how you want to do that right um, you can also click on the gems this is a new feature on gems level 1 to 12 you're using that setup rolling magma cold damage element proliferation flame wall flame totem etc if you click on right you see here lightning trap you use that from level 13 to 27 with all the support gems and the gems here. All right, the second tool we are using, it's called Path of Building. It is a combination Path of Building and PUE Overlay for buying items. I will call that. It is a kind of two programs in one. You need two programs to use one. 
I will just give you an example. This tool, it's called Puri Overlay. Some people like it, some people don't like it. Um, if you don't have a very good computer, beefy computer, um, yeah, some people are saying it takes resources. I have no problems. I use it since uh, a few leaks. I mainly use it for one feature. Let me show it to you before I uh, explain it in detail. So um, this this program alone has got so many features. Uh, I have a own video for only this program. I will also post it in the video description. You can watch that. I will just show you uh, for my leak starting. And generally, I'm only using this program for one specific thing. So um, I've showed you before my build, my leveling build I want to use. I will post a link here import so this tool here on the left side is called path of building if you don't know what this is i have also a video made about this or there are a lot of videos or from other people explaining path of building it is a tool where you post in the like we've seen before the link from a build someone recommended to you for example through youtube and you put it in and you can see here all um the leveling the tree and all the stats you need, the skills, the items you can buy. So for items, it's a little bit tricky. So if you're leak start and you're playing Path of Exile, um, you want to buy items from the trade. This is a, a feature for trading. Um, for me, it's for example, here, mapping gear. Uh, it's when I'm on a stage in Path of Exile where I want to buy, well, actively want to buy something from trade. And what's annoying a little bit is you have to go to Path of Exile Trade. You have to type in all the every skill or stat from this uh, item. For this example, this weapon, the wand, and the shield. You have to find level of all light spells, etc., etc. All so it's a little bit annoying to find uh, to buy the item, right? So if you're lazy like me, you copy this build. You save that and called leveling, for example, and you save that, right? You have your path of building and this tool automatically, if you press on refresh, um, is fetching the data from the path of building. And you can see here this leveling. I now here load. And this is the, all the items I need for the build and all the skills. So you can use this tool for many other features but I'm now just using it for buying items, for example, right? So I need these that went. I don't want to type in the stats on PU trade. You right click on this. So if you're here on build, right click, add to market. So then if you're in path of building, uh, path of exile, I will show it to you in a second. We are back in the game and then if you press alt m for me it's the market it's called the market in this tool um it will open this window and here you can buy really easy stuff here uh, it will automatically generate this folder you go into this folder you can see here the weapon it's called weapon one why weapon one because of this, this is the weapon one slots so you can see here weapon one and if I press search, it will search automatically uh, all the stats from this went. So if I press search, you maybe sometimes you don't find uh, um, the item. Then you lower the stats because exactly the weapon with these stats isn't that easy to find. So what you can do is, for example, um, I think this one is a stat there is. Uh, not not many people use for example so if i press on search you can see here we are now end of the league we have here some items um for 60 chaos with the stat uh, increased spell damage is implicit uh level of all lightning spell you can see he highlighted what skills are in the search and then you can just send the message and it automatically sends the message inside the game really easy to buy items right so this is one item, for example, um, you can add market for flasks, for example, or the helmet. So when you close this down, you can see a flask five, you press on search, it will automatically fly, uh, find the item with exactly these stats or for the helmet. This is my next upgrade I need for the helmet. I press on search and I see here the item for 33 chaos. 
The next tool is called Peary Lurker, Path of Exile Lurker. This is a tool from GitHub. It's free to use. This is a very, very good tool. I have made a video four years ago about the release of this tool and I'm still using it and it's one of my favorite uh, tools to use. So this tool is about trading, helping you um, when you're in a stage you want to upgrade your build, you want to trade something from uh, from the Path of Excel trade website. Um, it sends the friend, uh, it sends the trade requests to the people, and it also um, you receive requests, trade requests, and then it helps you visually. Very simple um, to use. I will post a link in the video description from my original video making uh, a guide about this build in detail, but I just want to show you what it is in general. Um, so here, for example, this is the game. I have no, no, no trade requests, so I'm using it from the website or check my video down below. Um, you can see here if you get if you put something on the trade website. So you want, for example, sell these divine orbs for 248 chaos right so you have to wait a little bit and then you will get a trade request from a random person and you will see here a small symbol here the jeweler orb or the exalted orb for example with 148 chaos for example so you click on it and it automatically in game sends uh, a party invite to the person who wants to trade with you and it automatically if you finish the trade kicks the person from trading and from your party if you finish the trade how you can download this tool so you can download it if you go here on the release you can see here on the latest release you click on release and you will see here you can download it as is an exit a pure like a setup access sorry this uh, this file so over the release, you download it as an exe file and it also automatically uh, updates for you. You don't have to install anything. You just once install it and then it automatically updates for you. The next tool I want to talk about is Awakened PUE Trade. This is also a tool that helps you um, f yeah, for trading more or less, price checking. For me, it's more uh, of a price checking tool. For trading tool, I use Pure Lurker. For price checking, I use Pure Awakened Trade. Um, it helps you also trading. So it's also on GitHub. How you can download it, you can see here on the right side the release note, and you can download it uh, here. The exe, um, it's in, it's an installer or just um, download the setup exe, because once you install it, it automatically in the background uh, is making the update for you. So how does this tool work? Once you download it, install it. Um, this tool basically, if you press Control D in the settings, you can set up um, how, what controls you want to use to price check. So I will give you a use case. Um, you are running your maps, for example, and you find something on the floor. If you're new to Path of Exile, uh, you don't know how much is the item worth that uh, I'm, I have on the floor, for example. Let's see for divine orbs. It's very simple. So you have this once divine orb, and before you go to Google and check the price on the PoE website, you just press Control D, hover over it, and it will open this um, yeah this bar, this window for you that uh, shows you the price. So what you do first of all here you press on standard. It depends on what league you are currently. The Pure Affliction League is running, the next league is coming out. The program updates itself when there is an update out from the developer. Um, it's always shortly after the league start. It's a very, very good. It's really good. So press on standard if you're playing standard, for example, and then control D, you can see the prices. So here you can see this item is worth 245. This is the price you can see here is the price about this is estimated like um, you can see here someone is selling it for 16 chaos maybe mispriced or something so this is the average price for this item but some people sell it for 270 so technically you can you could even sell that to for 260 chaos you can sell it but usually people sell it for 245 so it's really simple you can see here really quick okay how much is this worth 
there you go you can see also here if you have bulk items i have 206 items of the rook markers price you can see here in chaos for one item or even for bulk for example in on the item here the divine orb you can see people are for one divine selling bulk 50,000, 40,000, 30,000, something like that. Right. So the last tool I want to show you, it's called Chaos Recipe Enhancer. This is a tool that gives you, or not gives you, but helps you find chaos orbs or especially convert from items you find on the floor to chaos orbs. So if you have chaos orbs, you can buy and upgrade your build and therefore you need chaos orbs. I will show you here. It's called Chaos Recipe Enhancer. So what you need to get Chaos Orbs is either from the League Mechanic, you can get Chaos Orbs, you find it on the floor, and um, therefore there are mechanics in the game that gives you Chaos Orbs, but for League Start, it's very simple to use this tool that gives you a full set of items you find on the floor to convert it to Chaos Orbs. So you can see here in the screenshot here, for example, you need one set of items so what this item, uh, what this tool does is it gives you a function to manipulate your loot filter. So um, please check this uh, GitHub page out. There is a guide that is telling you what to do. There is also a video from the developer. And the tool automatically detects the stash tab here, Chaos Recipe, and um, highlights the items. If you press on stash, you can see these re red items you need. This is a full set. He's picking up a full set, he's going to the vendor, and you get two Chaos Orbs. That's are my five favorite tools I use every league for Path of Exile, especially for league starting and trading. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like on the video. And I have also some other content, other tools that I have not now mentioned. Check out my YouTube page. I make content uh, mostly for programs and helps for the game for quality live features. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.